all praise Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the power of the Holy Spirit. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. How are you? Saved, I hope. I'm Gary, Lamp of Heaven at Hotmail.com. If you're ready to talk to me about your confession and your healing, deliverance, prayer session on Skype. Jesus, they brought him up. Maybe there was 80 of them. That's a good round number. 80 of them brought them up to the cliff to throw him over the cliff, to kill him, to murder him. And he walked through the crowd. Walked away. How did that happen? Well, weapons of our warfare. So they were either either blinded, they were dumbfounded, confused, they were weakened, they were afraid. Maybe the revelation of the spiritual forces that were with uh, Jesus was revealed to them and they froze. Um, that's happened before. What did I say? Blinded, dumbfounded, afraid. Something else. <clears throat> they were incapacitated, impotent, couldn't function. Something like that. They were, maybe they fell out, slain in the spirit. Yeah, could be several things. And I want us to use all those things as a as a spiritual weapons against the enemy. Now, we don't have to convince the Father that we need protection from the enemy. He wants you to be aware that you have all power and authority over all the power of the enemy. Manifesting through people. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, thrones, dominions, rulers of this dark age, spiritual wickedness in high places. And they can work through people. Demonic forces working through people. We have power and authority over those demonic forces working through people. Now we don't. Now I can't just force someone to become saved and believe on Jesus. That's their will. I can't overcome their will, but I can severely affect the demonic manifesting through them. Obviously, Jesus did it. Uh, so, you don't have. So, if, if you want to let the Holy Spirit know what your intention is, fine. But you're supposed to be commanding these things onto. Loosing them on to bind and loose, Matthew 18, 18. Loosing these things on the enemy. Blindness, enemies dumbfounded, confounded, confused. Uh, don't know which way, what's up and what's down. Don't know what. Uh, that the enemy blinded, dumbfounded, fear falls into fear. That the, it is revealed. I command the revelation. Of the spiritual forces of God arrayed against the demonic forces of Satan be revealed to the enemy and strike them with terror and shame conviction what else I command the demonic to fall out fall out what's empowering this person manifesting I command it to fall out command it to get weak and faint, fall out and be overcome, be overpowered. Use your imagination, your holy imagination with the Holy Spirit. What else did I say? Uh, I command that when I'm around the enemy, that I walk through them easily. When the enemy tries to entrap me, when the enemy tries to grab me, when the enemy tries to bind me, when the enemy tries to stop me, when the enemy tries to kill me, when the enemy tries to corner me, when the enemy tries to assassinate me, 
that they fail. I speak a spirit of failure. That their plans, I speak failure, failure, failure into their plans. Uh, fall, 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 fail. Their plans. Uh, all their devices become undone. So we're praying against them. Spiritual weapons. So there's a lot of spiritual weapons there. And the more I meditate on Scripture, the more ways I can think of what went wrong for the enemy and what I can speak into the enemy that they fail. Jesus walked through them. They brought him up to the cliff and he walked through. <clears throat> Amen. And let me know if you think of any other spiritual weapons in that situation that I'm not thinking of. The enemy will soon be crushed under my feet. Jesus proved it. The God, my God, my Father in heaven will crush Satan under my feet. The weapons of our warfare are mighty through God for the tearing down of strongholds, demonic forces, and parade against me and saints. Failure. Fail, impotence, weakness, dumbfounded, destruction on our plans and devices. Loose it, I loose it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I loose it. I'm not, I don't have to beg God the Father. He wants me to, that's what I'm supposed, that's what I'm commanded to do. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that I commanded you. It doesn't say anything about let yourself be thrown off a cliff by a bunch of religious spirits wanting to assassinate you. I, don't, I didn't read that anywhere in the Bible. <clears throat> Amen. I pray you get this. I pray you receive it. And God willing, and I'm not pre-tribulation rapture. There are nothing even so. Come, Lord Jesus. Every time I mention the pre-tribulation rapture, I gotta say there's a pre-tribulation rapture. Then the great tribulation. Then the second coming. Amen. And I'm uh, saying, God willing, I'll remember. I'll put the. Uh, I'll put that scripture in this video. Or I'll put it in the description below. Anything else, Holy Spirit? I pray this touches you in power. Empowers you. Whatever we bind and loose. Uh, Matthew 18, 18. And I have the keys to the kingdom. Oops. Jingle, jingle, jingle. I got the keys to the kingdom. Party. Tear up. The demonic. We're going to have fun, fun, fun. We'll have fun, fun, fun. So daddy takes the keys to the kingdom away. And he won't. Because he wants us to be victors. We're more than victors. More than victors. Like Jesus proved that through the scripture. We're more than victors. What's that mean? More than victors. More than, vi more than a victor would mean. I don't even have to get my hands bloody. Yeah, I show up to battle. Helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth about my waist, my feet shod in the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith. And which I quench, quench the fiery darts of the enemy. And I take up in my sword hand, sword of the spirit, the word of God. I'll speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it three times. Fail, fail, fail. Confound it, confound it, confound it, blind it, blind it, blind it. Destruction, destruction, destruction. Oh, failure, failure, failure. Terror, terror of the. Oh, did I mention that? That's another one. <clears throat> they became, maybe they became, <clears throat> excuse me, not only. Afraid of the 
Maybe the angel, they saw the angels with Jesus. <clears throat> Great big angel. But loose the terror of the living God. Did I mention that? Anyway, loose the terror of the living God. Terror, I think I did mention that. Shame. Shame on the devil. Put the shame on the devil. Put the shame on the devil. And invite the Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here, Lord. Look, Holy Spirit, look. I got like 80 guys here wanting to throw me off this cliff, Holy Spirit. <laughs> yes, and I know you're going to show up in power. Oh, you're going to do something great right here, Holy Spirit, because I cancel their plans to kill me. That's not going to happen. I'm not going anywhere till it's God's time and not Satan's time. On God's time, not Satan's time. I'm in God's plan, not Satan's plan. I cancel that. Name, Jesus. Cancel that assignment. Cancel that contract. Hey, I'm a new creation. Born again. The old man, the old woman died, who Satan had an assignment, assignments on, contract on, maybe, maybe, generational curses, whatever it is, or family line, bloodline, or my sin, or <clears throat> sins of omission, commission, I, can you think of everything that might have happened? Anyway, that was the old man, the old woman, we put that person to death, water immersion baptism, and I came up out of the water, New life, born again in Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be blessed in the hearing and receive it. Don't just hear it, receive it, grab it, and do it. Don't be just hearers of the word, be doers. Faith without works is dead. Put your faith in action. Yeah, you don't have to. Spiritual intercession, the spiritual warfare. Not begging God to do something. If anything, God's hoping you'll do something. Do what you're told. Undo. First John 3. Undo the works of the devil. As Jesus was sent by the Father to undo the works of the devil, so we are sent. To undo the works of it's our job. I don't have to beg God, can I do my job? God, can I do my job? Can I do my job? What do you think, God? What do you think? Is it your will, God? You don't know God's will about the enemy, about the devil. Trying to kill you, you don't know what God's will is. As a child of God, blood bought through suffering, death, and resurrection. Praise Jesus. More than conquerors. I had another scripture I was going to say. Mighty through God. Power. Weapons of our warfare. Not carnal. Spirit. God is spirit. Those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. And our enemy, as I say, is in the spiritual atmosphere. We have to take charge of the spiritual atmosphere take the land numbers 33 53 dispossess the inhabitants we're commanded i know there was something else i was going to say holy spirit what do you want to say let's hear what the holy spirit wants to say amen to you to us don't come at this like a beggarly attitude like you're the victim here. Let's make the enemy the victim. And turn the whole thing around like Jesus did. All right. They got you up on the cliff. What are you going to do about it? Holy Spirit, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> I don't do anything without the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what are we going to do about this? And the Holy Spirit says, well, you just walk that way. Well, that way I got a crowd of 80 guys going to throw me off the cliff, right? They got me backed up there. You start walking, and something's going to happen. Right. Take a step. Take another step. 
take another step. Can you see the whole thing? How it's all going to play out? Can you see it <clears throat> now? No. When you take the step, then you're going to be able to take another step. If you don't take the first step, how are you going to be able to take the second step? You know what I'm saying? You're trying to get to the end. Right? You're trying to, you want to see the end. And God just wants you to take a step. Just take the step. And that, oh, when you, that is the victory. When you take the first step, it's done. If you never take the first step, see, there's only one way to go. 80 guys, cliff behind you. Uh, only, there's only one way to go. Well, two ways. You can go the cliff way or you can go through the crowd. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, receive it. Receive it in power. Holy Spirit, touch this person in power. I bind your strong man right now and all the demons in and around attached to you. In and around attached to you. In your flesh, in your mind, in your spirit. However, they're in there and around you, in the room where you are, in the house, in the family. Bind all them spirits and he, in chains, eternal chains, in the eternal fire. Fire from the throne room. Red hot, white hot, blue hot, I don't know it. They're hot, the chains that I'm putting on the demons. You're a strong man, bound, <clears throat> and helpless. And look here, this person here that's turning to Jesus, confessing their sins, confessing their sins, repenting of their sins, turning from sin, turning to Jesus, getting water, immersed, and baptized, and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This person is going to walk through you because you're going to be undone they are going to take the first step and then the Holy Spirit's going to lead them through. I speak that over you now. I loose that into you now. You bind and loose whatever. You loose nasty things on the devil and the demons. You loose good things on the children of God. Amen. Spiritual weapons. Mmm. I don't know what the title of this is going to be yet. <clears throat> I've been doing recently. I've been doing some spiritual weapons upload. I hope you watch all of those. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Maranatha. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.